So this is Hiker Dude Dad. I'm about to do the Horseshoe Trail just north of Lidditz, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're at a place called the Pretzel Hut. Uh, pretty awesome place to eat. A little bit of traffic here on 501, but it is... Um, we are right outside the Petting Zoo. Rather unique entrance to this trail. Um, but we're looking to do about... Uh, probably about six miles today. And we're going to get back to it. So as I was saying, the entrance here is through a petting zoo. Last people through apparently left the uh, door wide open. Pretty unique place here. Uh, but once you get through the uh, petting zoo and the chickens, uh, I think they have goats, a couple peacocks running around, horses. But uh, then you hit these yellow blazes and you're off on the horseshoe trail. Horseshoe trail, I believe, goes across Valley Forge, or uh, across Pennsylvania from about Valley Forge. All the way to Harrisburg, I believe. Uh, it's about 120 miles, 140 miles. So this section is pretty close to my house. I do it a lot. Um, the map I'm using on all trails I kind of created. Um, this was one of my strenuous Grand Canyon training hikes, um, if I do it all. I'm not gonna do it all today kind of been off for the last two weeks being a homeschool teacher to the kids while my wife is working at the hospital uh, during nights and um, she's off for the next two weeks now so I get to go out and play um, yeah last time I was here nothing was blooming um, so now everything's starting looking way more green so this trail starts out with kind of a climb out of the petting zoo uh, area and you're pretty much uh, for the first half mile or so uh, climbing the whole way uh, up to the area around Camp Mac as long as I've been doing this trail, I have no idea where Camp Mac is. It's around here somewhere. But there's a road that I think uh, ultimately leads there. This first part of the trail here, usually pretty soggy, and it has rained uh, a lot lately. Hiking noobs here during quarantine. Probably made a bridge for no reason. Okay, so we're at the top of that first little stretch there. Uh, it was about it's less than a mile yeah 0.6 miles uh, basically from uh, where we started to here um, so Camp Mac is close by I do believe it's down this road there's like a road that's intersecting here 
uh, horseshoe trail here, Yellow Blazes turns to the right, follow it down the road. I think if you keep going, Camp Mac, Boy Scout Camp is out there, uh, but we'll turn left and keep going up this hill. Nice wide bit of road here. It does have uh, tire tracks, so pretty sure that's how they uh, would supply the camp uh, for a scouting trip. <clears throat> You're only on this first short stretch before you bust to the left and, uh, and keep going up the hill here. Uh, So here's the point where we're not going to go straight ahead. Uh, we'll turn over here and keep going towards Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock is, um, I guess, kind of an outlook. You can see north to Schaeferstown, Myerstown on a nice day. You can see the Appalachian Mountains in the background, way out on the horizon. <clears throat> but. The trees in front of it are, are pretty high, so it's not a real dramatic uh, overlook. Um, you know, when the trees are full leaves, you know, you can't really see far at all. But this little part of the trail has a lot of beams, a lot of ankle rollers. Uh, but pretty soon we'll be up on the ridge and moving towards Eagle Rock. All right, so we're kind of up at the top of the ridge here, heading across to Eagle Rock. Um, so it's a Tuesday. It's like day 47 or something of uh, shelter at home here in Pennsylvania. Uh, they have been encouraging people to get out and hike, which is interesting because there's so many people out here hiking that have never hiked before. Um, I tried to go to two other places today. I couldn't even get a spot in the parking lots. Um, tried to go to Governor Dick up in Lebanon, and I tried to go to Speedwell Forge here, also uh, outside of um, Rickersville. Uh, could not get in the parking lots of either, and I'm just not dealing with that. I do want to socially distance. I want to keep my space from other people. Kind of hard to do when you can't even get in the parking lot. Um, there were a couple cars here when I got here, um, but walking through the petting zoo, I realized they were there for the petting zoo uh, and not really hiking. I've not seen anyone yet, which is absolutely fine with me. I'm a stay-at-home dad. Here in April, I'm used to getting kids out the door to school, going somewhere and hiking it out and then getting home by time to get home. So, past couple weeks here, you know, past two months basically, um, I've been not being able to get out to hike as much when my wife's been working. Uh, she's a physician, she works overnights for two weeks and then has two weeks off all the time. Um, we are tending to socially distance ourselves a little more than maybe other people. Uh, we know just because she does go to the hospital, she does treat COVID-19 patients and comes home. So we just kind of treat it like we already have it. Since it takes a little time to show up, we just kind of act like we already have it. And we try and keep other people safe from it. So far, so good though. Um, so I'm used to weekday hikes was my point. Um, love it. Love the solitude. Um, either uh, go by myself or uh, I have a buddy, Jay, who when he can uh, get away from work and such, will uh, come with me. I think he's going to come along Friday. Um, so I like the solitude. So I love the fact that I haven't seen anyone today. Um, and it's good to, to keep distance. 
probably just maybe a quarter mile here from from Eagle Rock, so I might just keep this running. The video, not my mouth. Still following the yellow uh, blazes. There are some blue ones up here. I don't know what the story with those are. I guess something's crossing and, and sharing the path, but in this area, between Valley Forge and Harrisburg, if you're looking at yellow blazes, you're probably on the Horseshoe Trail. As the name would imply, it is a horse-friendly trail. I have not found any bombs today. How you doing? Good, you? Excellent, thank you. So here's Eagle Rock. So careful what you wish for. That was the first other hiker that I've seen today. Um, I like his style though. He uh, completely stepped off the trail, gave six feet. That's usually me doing that to other hikers right now. Uh, but he took the initiative, gave me six feet. Um, he knows what he's doing. I was the one walking uphill, uh, so he gave me the right away, And I do appreciate that. So here's our view up here from Eagle Rock. The trees are still pretty bare, so it's not a bad view. But uh, the closest town up there is Schaeferstown, Pennsylvania. Myers Town is up there somewhere, and then the ridge way in the back there is, uh, that is the Appalachian Mountains. Pretty sure Eagle Rock here was named by the scouts, perhaps Eagle Scouts, uh, that come up here uh, to Camp Mac. Um, But it's definitely called Eagle Rock, thanks to the uh, very suspect Troop 69. Not quite sure that's their real, uh, real troop number. But um, yeah, got a helicopter going over right now, and basically here's the rocks. See my poles there. If you hop up on those, you get a pretty good view. Unless it's the middle of summer and everything's green and blocking the view. Uh, so we are a mile and a half now from the start, a mile, mile and a quarter. Mile and a quarter from where we started. So being a hiker dude dad, I do like to bring the kids up here. Uh, I have days off school or something. Mile and a quarter, you know, so you're looking at a two and a half mile round trip up here to Eagle Rock, you're climbing it first, and then you can tell them, hey, it's just coasting down downhill uh, when you leave here. But um, it's a good hike, gets a little exercise, training future hikers, and um, at the end you can go to the Pretzel Hut and get some good ice cream. Here come a couple more hikers, so I'm going to turn this off and get on my way. Eagle Rock. Uh, by the way, two more uh, Good hikers gave a lot of space uh, came up on the rocks on one side I hopped down the other side let them enjoy the view uh, pretty steep drop here when you descend on the other side of Eagle Rock um, go through this little stretch I like to call the sandlot trails uh, very sandy here very soft uh, Watch your footing a little bit here because uh, it does get going downhill and there are some Pennsylvania ankle rollers uh, So you just kind of break yourself a little bit I 
I don't know. Thanks. You got it. Another little quarter mile here on this stretch and it'll go from sandy to red clay and wet a lot. So it's a downhill. It uh, at times can be a stream actually uh, going downhill. Uh, but a lot of slippery red clay. Um, there is a little side trail that people have cut. So if it's messy, we take that. If not, pretty much hopping from... Uh, slippery red clay rock to another. I'll turn back on when we get there. So we're coming into that area that is uh, many times a stream, kind of a red clay, juicy kind of stuff. It has rained a lot the last couple uh, eh, weeks on and off. Honestly, I don't think we've gone like two, three days without rain. Um, so yeah, there's a couple areas here where it gets pretty wet. Um, you know, more worried about kind of slipping backwards uh, in it. So there is kind of a side trail here that people have kind of carved uh, that does come in handy. Here's another spot with that kind of red you can actually see water flowing. I mean, this is a little bit of a stream, but that is technically the trail. Um, but we're over here on a little bit higher ground. Um, yeah, just gotta be careful. In the winter time, late winter, early spring, um, gonna hop some rocks here. Uh, this will be wet soak like this and freeze over so it's kind of a pinkish orange uh, slush and ice um, really dangerous actually at that time of year um, and if you go down here you really do kind of have to come back up then um, this part of the trail for me uh, that I like to do is definitely an out and back uh, so whatever we did uh, so far I probably won't have much video coming back because, uh, you yeah, know, same thing backwards. So we're coming to the end here uh, of this little section. We're almost to 322. Um, I'm going to break this off though and I'm going to climb up there. Um, small stream down here. Uh, that we can cross, but I'm going from the yellow trail to the blue trail. It's down here just a little bit, but we're going to be going up through those rocks. Um, probably do a time lapse uh, climb up there. traffic from 322 cars absolutely fly trucks especially just absolutely ripped down that road um, to do my whole hike that I have mapped on all trails here um, you would go across the road and go up through Randall's kettle uh, which is a butt kicking climb and then straight back down essentially and then up a little bit of it again before you get back to uh, to 322 but uh here's where our i think this little stream here flows into what they call hammer creek there on the other side of 322 last time i was here this was bone dry but it's springtime we've had a lot of rain we really didn't have any snow this year so that's why it was dry before, but uh, it's going pretty nice and you just have to 
be careful and cross here, but then we're gonna go go up. Okay, so we're up here at the fire break. Uh, we're over on the pumping station side of uh, this climb. We just came from this direction in those blue blazes. Once you get up here though, um, the blazes disappear. So you just kind of have to go straight here and just stay on what seems like the path uh, because it is. Um, and then you'll eventually pick up yellow again, uh, slightly different yellow than the horseshoe path, um, horseshoe trail, uh, but that'll eventually bring you back to the horseshoe trail. Um, doing a lollipop today, we're going, we came in and now we're kind of in the middle of the loop, but it's going to take us back to where we were before. The stick on the lollipop and then we'll retrace our steps back to the parking lot but uh we're probably about halfway through right now um reading two and a half miles so if i get two and a half miles back that'll be five and that'll be perfect more uphill So I veered off onto another trail uh, just for the sake of exploring and it kind of on all trails makes it look like it'll give me uh, a little extra mileage. Feeling pretty good today. It's a gorgeous day. It's, uh, yeah, it's April 28th um, and it's awesome. It's probably in the mid 60s right now. Beautiful sun. We're really having a blast today. Um, probably seen eight people on the trail, maybe ten. Uh, so that's that's a good number. That's not all the time. Two more. I do still feel weird talking to the camera if there are people around kind of like the dude in the store with the bluetooth in his ear that nobody can see uh, so I don't know it's, probably get real quiet when I pass people Except to greet them, of course. Uh, all right, so no, no horses down here. Still haven't seen any bombs. Uh, horseshoe trail. It's definitely, usually, usually some. So keep your eyes open. I'm almost at the point where I'm gonna join back up with. Um, a part of the trail that you guys have already seen. I'll get back to uh, to the place where you go up through the kind of red clay, wet, mushy part.
So here's where I closed my loop. I went down that way, all the way up through those rocks, and then back this way. Um, so probably gonna shut this down now. You guys have seen everything. I'm just gonna go backwards up the hill to Eagle Rock and back down uh, to the pretzel hut. I don't think they're open, unfortunately. I would really love to get some of their peanut butter soft serve. It is phenomenal. They have it every other week. Uh, I'm not sure this is the week, but I'm definitely gonna check it out. I would love to have some. It has been a while and that'll be a great treat for after this hike. After a hike, I usually am looking for a beer or some kind of ice cream or a milkshake or coffee. Um, no preference, actually. Um, I like all three about the same. Depends on the time of day, place, whatever. Um, you know, bars are kind of closed right now. So unless I bring a beer out here with me, uh, it's not happening before I get home. So I'm just banking on hopefully Pretzel Hut is open for some takeout, curbside pickup, uh, curbside pickup, whatever. That would be fantastic, but I'm not getting my hopes up right now. So I'm back at Eagle Rock. Time for a snack. One of my favorite things on the trail, seedless red grapes. I've got a uh, little uh, Columbia uh, little small Columbia lunchbox kind of thing. Uh, packet. I think it's Columbia. Got it from Columbia. I don't see their name on it, which usually do see it. Anyway, this packet has uh, three of the walls are um, insulated with like gel uh, that you just throw the whole thing in the freezer. Keeps your grapes ice cold. Also room for a beer. Not today. Cheers. Uh, so at the end of the hike here, when you're coming down the hill, uh, I always play a guessing game, which am I gonna hear first? Uh, traffic, trucks from 501, or roosters? Um, today it's after three o'clock, we're getting into potential rush hour, although I don't think it's that much of a rush anymore. Um, and I guess roosters like to crow when I'm talking, or in the morning, uh, either way. So I, I was correct. I chose traffic. That's what I heard first. Now, here's the part I'm dreading because I'm going to head over and see if the pretzel hut is open. I could really use some peanut butter ice cream. What up, goats? this up in a second as soon as I see if I can get some ice cream. Alright, so driving home. Um, great hike today. I did not get ice cream. Pretzel Hut is not open. Um, the worst part is they still have peanut butter on their sign out front. Uh, just to fool you and make you think it is peanut butter week, I guess. Um, I'm heading back now. Got uh, five, uh, five point three miles, I think it was five point four miles. Um, forgot to check the elevation, but um, a couple hundred feet, I'm sure. Um, it's a great hike. Good to be back at it, and um, I think tomorrow morning I'm going to be up like first thing in the morning, hit the trails before um, other people get out there. Um, just so I can go to the trail, the trail that I want to go to. So, uh, 
this hiker dude dad um, hope you like this hope you subscribe and um, see you next time